But time to get into North. <laughs> their pressure. <laughs> their, so their first three weeks was arguably phenomenal. Some of the, like, in terms of pressure. Some of the things they were doing. So, you know, beat the Eagles, beat Freo. You know, both WA teams are down this year. But at the end of the day, they got both wins. So as we always, as I've, as we've dubbed them, Kings of WA, but <laughs> Hey, I think still think they're the only team to do it this year. So uh, we'll have to, I have to look into that now to see if they're no longer the Kings of WA, but if not, but you know, you take what they did in those first few weeks and it was, you know, not elite pressure, but it was, it was sustainable. It's what we would say with Hawthorne. You turn up every week, you bring the pressure, you do what you have to, to get through games and, you know, get through your rebuild sort of thing. The problem we have now is their last two weeks is that pressure's gone. It's out the window. They have no pressure existent uh, in their midfield, forward, defense. Um, there were some really good examples um, that I was watching on um, the round so far. And some of those, exa- um, who, had the, who had the biggest one that I was absolutely ropeable watching? Um, Oh, this is going to kill me off the top of my head. Was it money bags? I mean, money bags was, I think it was money bags. It was the awful one, but I think it was, there was a different player. I think that was even worse, but let's go with money bags. Cause his was, his was bad. You know, he's a guy on a very lengthy contract. Who's basically letting players wheel and deal around him because he just doesn't look like he gives an absolute stuff. Um, you know, he's got to be one that's repaying the faith to, North Melbourne, you've come over from a another club that is now struggling in departments that you could be helping um, just to basically play nothing football. Um, where's the Griffin Logue that we have watched play some really good football in both defence and he played some good football in the forward half? You know, where's that Griffin Logue? But he's not the only one. There's plenty of players at the moment who just aren't putting that pressure on. And it's down to their senior players again. And this happened to them, you know, it's happened to them for the last two years, is their senior players are the ones that don't want to put, do anything. Uh, Stevenson, he gave away a 100 beta penalty that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, needed. Not needed at all. Um, they're just a team at the moment that are just... Seems like they're just cruising on by and they don't really care about playing week to week. It just seems like they want to get through this season at the moment. And I know this is harsh to say because it's based off of, you know, realistically three weeks versus, you know, it's three weeks versus three weeks is what I'm basing it off, essentially. But I still reckon if you look at their pressure ratings over those weeks, it would just be completely different uh, styles of football. And it's not going to be sustainable. Fans aren't going to want to turn up again. And as as Kane Corn said, uh, if this was Noble, he'd be in deep shit. If this, you know, because this is Clarko, it's all good. You know, it's all good. Let's just let this fly fly under the radar. But yeah, North North are a team that I definitely think we need to watch over the next month. If they keep producing these sorts of performances. Yeah, it's uh the the rebuild just it how can you even say that there's been improvement? Like, you know, rebuilds I I went through a lengthy rebuild from a deep cut of the list. I know they take time, but you still can show improvement over those years. They realistically look like the two wins they've got this year, maybe the only ones they get. So, yeah, 